Math techniques. Next math technique that we want to discuss is called back off. Not every question can be solved simply by making up numbers. Sometimes what we need to be able to do is use the answer choices that are there and solve for a value, not a relationship between unknowns. Let's take a look at this question. Jerry's age is five more than three times Carol's age. If the sum of their ages is 45, how old is Carol? Now when we take a look at a question like this, notice that when we circle the end, they want to know Carol's specific age. Not a relationship between unknowns, but specifically the value of Carol. What we're going to do here is start in the middle. It's not that you can't use algebra to solve this question, but there may be an easier way. And when we use real numbers, we take the difficulty out of constructing equations and turn it into simple arithmetic. Here's how it works. Let's start with C. We start with the middle number because if that number isn't correct, we know to make that number smaller or larger based on the result. If we say that Carol is 14, let's figure out how old Jerry is. Jerry is supposed to be 5 more than 3 times Carol. So 3 times 14 is 42, plus 5 is 47. Now we know Carol and we know Jerry. Does this actually work for our question, however? What did they tell us? They said the sum of the ages is 45. Is 14 plus 47 going to equal 45? No! It is way too high. One of the numbers is already bigger than 45. We put them together. Our sum is 61. So if our sum is 61 and we want to get to 45, do we want to make that number bigger or do we want to make that number smaller? Obviously, we want to make that number smaller. That means that not only is C wrong, but D and E are also wrong. We're now down to just two answer choices. Let's take a look at B. If Carol is 12, now we have to check to see how old Jerry is. Jerry is 5 more than 3 times 12. Well, 3 times 12 is 36. 5 more than that is 41. We put those together, our sum is 53. It's still too high. That means our answer has to be 10. And if we'd like to double check, we certainly can. Let's take a look. 5 more than 3 times 10. 3 times 10 is 30, plus 5 is 35. 10 plus 35, 45, and we're done. Let's take a look at another one. Before we saw when we had variables in a question, our instinct might be to plug in to replace the unknowns. But that's not always the case. If a plus b equals 9 and a squared plus ab equals 36, then what is b equal? Notice at the end of this question we want a specific value for b. We don't want the relationship, we want b as a number. So now we've got five answer choices. Where do we start? We start in the middle. So let's test out five. Well, if b is 5, a plus 5 equals 9. Can we figure out what a is? I certainly hope so. What is a equal? a is going to equal 4. Now, we've solved one of the equations, but in order for this to work, it has to work for both parts. So now we've got to take a look at the second equation. We know what b is and we know what a is. So, how does this work? 4 squared, because we're putting a as 4 into the second equation, and a times b, we've got a 4 for a and a 5 for b, so we've got 4 squared plus 4 times 5. What's 4 squared? 16. What's 4 times 5? 20. What's 16 plus 20? It's 36. Is that what we were looking for? Yes. And so we're done. There's no faster way to solve the question than to just have the answer be the one you chose. Now, it won't always work out that way, but you can see even in comparison between these two questions, we never have to really try more than two answer choices. That's what makes BackSolve so powerful.